Hey everyone, it's Trueview here with the new Total War game. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. And uh, what we're going to be doing is recreating the Battle of Thermopylae. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is the famous battle that took place in 480 BC in Greece between King Leonidas and his 300 Spartans against um, somewhere in the estimates of around half a million to a million Persian warriors led by King Xerxes I of Persia. Now, you may be wondering why it's snowing in Greece around this time, but what you've got to appreciate is that this is before global warming became a thing. So, because we didn't have global warming in those days, there was snow everywhere all year round. So, that's why uh, we've got a lot of snow here today, even though it's the middle of summer. So, that's enough said. Now, let's go check out the armies. So, over here, as you can see, we've got our Spartans. Now, um, you might be wondering why you can't actually see 300 of them, and that's because uh, some of them have actually, like, clipped into the walls. Uh, that wasn't known to happen during the ancient days. Uh, the pathfinding wasn't too good, so sometimes uh, enemies would get stuck in walls. Now, over here, as you can see, we've got our massive Persian army. Uh, there's around 5,000 on here. Uh, there's more coming on the way, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, they're not particularly coordinated, uh, these Persians. And, of course, they're being supported by a detachment of chickens. So that's the army analysis done, so all that's left is to start this battle. And the Battle of Thermopylae is underway. Oh, oh no! And the Persians! The Persians have turned on their chicken allies. Absolutely batch And they're getting rained on by rocks. Oh, this isn't good. They've instantly turned on their allies and have absolutely butchered the chickens. Poetic justice, though, then getting rained on by the, uh, by the rocks. And now the Persians have finally turned on the Spartans. The Emperor Penguins fleeing for their lives. They're not looking too happy about this. And the T-Rex has shown up, everyone. T the T-Rex has entered the battlefield. Here we are now. The Persians are fully committed in. Spartans doing really well at holding, holding the line. Um, Persians just falling all over the place. There seems to be a lot of commotion back here. Um, oh, oh, the T-Rex has been killed. T-Rex is dead, everyone. T-Rex didn't do much in this battle, and the Penguins are just walking over its corpse. And it looks like the Santas are trying to take revenge for the fallen chickens as well giving the Persians what for, but it doesn't look like they're going to be doing well in this battle. Let's just hope they can save Christmas, everyone. And it looks like the Penguins are getting stuck into the Santas as well. They must be atheist, or at least pagan. Now, over here, we can see that the 101st Airborne is finally committed. Now, this is interesting when I came to do my research of this. Uh, it's been long since presumed by historians that the 101st Airborne never actually got involved in this battle. Now, you have to appreciate that the D-Day landings was a bit all over the place. Uh, some of the paratroopers landed miles away from their designated drop zone, while some of them landed in ancient Greece. So, yeah, here they are. They, they've, they've committed. We've now got evidence of, of the American soldiers getting involved in this. And uh, it looks... Oh, yeah, that's it. The, uh, the Santas have been completely annihilated, and the Persians, with their penguin brethren, are now getting committed, trying to take out the American soldiers. So, with the Americans distracting the Persians, let's see how the Spartans are doing. I'll, I'll look, and it's finally, yes, finally, Chuck Norris has entered the battlefield and is decimating the Spartans. See, here we go, this is what I mean. Like, people have been believing that the Spartans were betrayed by one of their own, or the Persians managed to overwhelm them. No, it was Chuck Norris. We've got uh, one solitary Spartan back here. He's like, nope, no, I'm not getting involved in that. That's Chuck Norris. Yeah, so Chuck Norris just taking on the Persians all on his own. But can he do it? There's a lot of Persians here. Can Chuck Norris defeat the Persian army? Well, Chuck Norris, so yeah. But uh, the Persians are having difficulties back here. They're, also, their pathfinding, it, it wasn't just the Spartans. The Persian pathfinding wasn't that good back in those days. So they're all getting stuck, uh, jammed up against the walls. It's a common issue back in those days, so you, you have to forgive them for it. Now, it wasn't just Chuck Norris killing all of these Persians. As you can see, uh, there was at one point, it was this guy here, came around the side, tried to flank him, but... Um, oh, sorry, he died. Uh, no, sorry, it, it wasn't him. Um, it was actually uh, this this guy, yeah. As you can see, he comes up around the side, tries to outflank Chuck Norris. At, uh, oh, sorry, he, he, he died as well. Uh, no, it couldn't have been him, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it was 
Uh, it was th yeah, it was this guy. It was this guy here. You just watch. This is a proper hero moment. It saves the day. Uh, oh no, no, he died as well. Yeah, I keep forgetting it's Chuck Norris. No, you can't win against him. The uh, 101st doing really well to hold back the Persians. Persians just falling in front of them. Bodies absolutely piling up. Uh, they're doing really well. Um, not sure if it's Dog, Easy or Fox Company, but wh whichever company it was, uh, they're doing really well. There's a lot of determination on the side of the Americans. Uh, as you can hear in the background of them chanting uh, their desire to buy some sort of vehicle called a Merry Car. And Chuck Norris is just carving his way through the Persians. There's a massive trail of dead bodies and blood behind him. He could very well do this. He could very well win this fight on his own. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck Norris down to the last few Persians. And these. Two and that is it. Chuck Norris has destroyed the Persian army all on his own. And now he's going for the Americans. He's going for the Americans, he was going to team up with them before, but he thought, no, I'm Chuck Norris, I'm just going to destroy all of them. Um, having a little, di no, he's having a bit of a crisis of conscience here, but no, now it looks like he's fully committed, charging straight into the Hunter First Airborne, and he is just destroying them. He's getting pumped full of bullets, but those bullets just bouncing off of him. He's got skin made of steel, it's going to do nothing against him, and the Americans just getting destroyed. I'm afraid there's not much the Americans can do now. They're not going to be able to buy their merry cars when they get back home. They're just going to fall on this battlefield. Such a shame everyone, after doing so well against the Persians. 101st Airborne ended up falling at the hands of Chuck Norris himself. So this is it, the last three Spartans. The King is dead, uh, and now Chuck Norris has taken them on as well. And Chuck Norris has won the Battle of Thermopylae. That's it, that is what really happened in real life. The Persians, the Spartans, the chickens, penguins, they, they all died at the hands of Chuck Norris. And I think we've learned quite a lot here. I think we've um, put the history books right here. We found out that the T-Rex didn't actually change much on the real day, and that the winner of the battle, ladies and gentlemen, was Chuck Norris himself. America! Ladies and gentlemen, before we go, I have an apology to make. Before I uploaded this video, I sent it over to the University of Oxford and had historians there look over it, just to make sure that everything was historically accurate. The response I got was one of mockery. They told me that almost everything that I showed in the video was completely inaccurate, that the 101st Airborne Division never got involved in the battle, and that the T-Rex was extinct long before that battle even took place. And they even told me who the real winner of that battle was. The true victor of the Battle of Thermopylae was North Korea.